What's up YouTube? We're back again here showing our reptiles. Got Aragon here and Alex. Now I want to talk to you guys about reptile lighting, UVB rays, and also metabolic bone disease. Now Aragon has been kind of diagnosed, well has been diagnosed with metabolic bone disease, but it's not severe obviously as evidenced in this bump that he does have metabolic bone disease it's just like early stages of metabolic bone disease so what we did and also the recommendation of a couple of youtubers uh, Mr. Binti 1440 recommended that I got mega ray bulbs and I looked into it and mega ray lighting is absolutely the best lighting you could possibly get for your reptile out there if you already heard of it then you guys already know that it works really well so you may want to make sure that you get that that's the first step first step is make sure you get good UVB bulbs uh, the thing about mega ray bulbs is that they last about 18 months and also put out more UVB than any other bulb out there and I know it's really hard to get UVB bulbs that work well I know the Exoterra ones don't work very well and everybody uses the Power Sun bulbs but the Mega Ray bulbs are twice as good and last three times as long as those so I'm not advertising for them by any means but I've never actually gotten excited about a product until this so now the thing about that is you have to make sure you mount it properly which is at least for my 100 watt bulb at least 12 to 16 inches away from the basking area which it is and also double and triple check your temperatures mine is at 90 degrees which is perfectly fine high high 80s low 90s for a Chinese water dragon it's perfectly fine for a basking area the rest of the tank is about 75 to 85 degrees so it's perfectly fine now the thing is, is I love having a nice cage and we did have to remove one of the canopies here in order to make room for this which is the adjustable zoom ed post so that we could adjust accordingly if you want it higher, lower, more in the middle it'll totally help and we also got a, a small rep, a small mini dome to house the 100 watt light bulb so it's about 13 and a half to 14 inches from the actual bulb to this area. Now the UVB does get blocked by the screen, but not too much. Not like it would a glass or plastic. Glass will filter about half of the UVB bulbs. Uh, rays and plastic, almost all of it. So make sure you don't use plastic um, to cover your terrarium. And if you do, just uh, have a cutout made and it shouldn't be a big deal. Just have a cutout to where your basking area is and it shouldn't be a big problem. Because I know there are a couple YouTubers out there that make plastic covers and I know they'd be happy enough to make a cutout for you. Now the thing is, in order to prevent metabolic bone disease is one, uh, get the proper lighting and two, proper calcium. Metabolic bone disease is pretty much... Uh, the body's inability to process vitamin D which helps strengthen bones and muscles now I've actually heard stories of people dropping their reptiles and the reptile dying because it broke its bones or just severe trauma to it and I know none of us want that to happen to our reptiles and anytime I open the cage sometimes they jump out or something like that and I just don't want them to get hurt from anything like that and also it brings them um, more muscle, more muscle tone and also better appetite and just all around it's a whole lot better for them. They're going to be more active, going to eat a lot more and uh, as you can tell his colors are really good right now. I've actually seen in a four day transformation a brown iguana turn into a really green iguana in just four days with this proper lighting. Now the other thing you want to do is supplement um, with Reptical or some other good supplements. Uh, whatever you feed your animals, whether it be crickets or worms, just make sure you supplement well. You should be good. The other thing I can recommend 
is if you have an outdoor enclosure, um, just bring them out there for like an hour a day, hour and a half a day, and that's good. That's more than the whole day combined, uh, what you could get inside a terrarium. Now, the other thing I've seen people do is, one of my neighbors does, he walks his iguana, not daily, but I've seen him walk them on occasion, and I know that's good because I've seen his iguana, his iguana is super healthy, and it's actually good, and it'll it'll get him the much needed uh, rays he gets, and also gets to see the world and stuff like that. Because sometimes the terrarium is boring, you know. So, so I just want to let everybody know about um, metabolic bone disease, the quick version. If you want, you can read more about it, and um, I'm going to give you the website uh, reptileuv.com where you can get these awesome rays. Uh, awesome mega ray light bulbs. Oh, the other thing we did is uh, instead of uh, the old, we used to have four bulbs in there. Now we only have two. They're 5,000 kilovolt uh, fluorescent bulbs from uh, Reptile UV. Um, they're great. Once you turn them on, I mean, with just two bulbs, it's a lot brighter than the four bulbs that I actually had in there from another uh, another company. So there you have it. You got a healthy Alex and a super healthy to be Aragon. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.